YouTube, Big G, back again with another video, and this time just a short uh, pick up some play video. And uh, I got some great new Commodore 64 cards. Uh, I love collecting these cards. Um, I didn't have a Commodore 64 back in the day, so this is great fun to actually get hold of these cards. And, and they're actually quite scarce, you don't often see them. And these cards are actually managed to get in really good condition. So the first one is Zenji. And you can see the cart is in absolute mint condition. Uh, all the way from Australia. Zenji. The next one is Kickman. Also in great condition. These cards are advertised as mint and they are. Just pity you don't have the boxes and so forth. And this is Tooth Invaders. Sounds quite interesting. I've never played any of these before. And the last one here, Jack Attack. So four great cards for the Commodore 64 uh, all the way from Australia and uh, I'm looking forward to giving these a play so stick around guys okay first up Tooth Invaders get the old uh, trusty Spectra video joystick out and maybe this was an educational game because <laughs> I thought it was perhaps maybe a Space Invaders type clone but definitely doesn't look like a Space Invaders type clone because I see teeth which links into the Tooth Invaders and okay so there I picked up some dental floss and let me start cleaning I had one little go with it quickly just to see what it was about so I take it that I'm here to clean the teeth and avoid the germs so you can sort of zoom in and out of the teeth close view and outside view much faster to move around from the outside view and I'm busy just using the dental floss to <laughs> clean between the teeth um, so I take it this was done as educational game perhaps teach your kids how to use um, dental floss and okay I want to need that toothbrush where do I get okay so I need to put the to dental floss down first I'm going to pick up my toothbrush and put toothpaste on the toothbrush okay now that it's flashing it's got the toothpaste on and now I can go in and start cleaning the teeth makes sense I must say it looks very very basic more like something yeah, the sound is not bad. Sprites are nice and big. But you can see it is a very early game on the Commodore 64. Movement is, is alright, sort of. It's not the smoothest. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of this now. So I sort of zoot. Uh-uh, -oh, problem with that tooth. My word, look at all that block. Come on, Captain Block. And you can see there I'm busy cleaning up all the block. Try to get that tooth all nice and healthy. Object of the game is to once you've cleaned all the teeth, they change a different color. Uh, otherwise, they go. Ah, there, I got killed. So, only time you're vulnerable to the germ is when you're in the close-in view, and then you know he can zap you. Okay, so that's one man dead. You can see he gets carried away in a lot air balloon. <laughs> so it's got a nice little sense of humor, I must say. Uh, I quite like that. And it definitely is original. It's only ever video game I've ever played that has anything to do with teeth. Okay, so there I am, busy cleaning up all the block. Not so easy to clean it. I think I should be concentrating maybe on one tooth. But anyway, let's just see. Maybe it's faster if you zoot around from tooth to tooth. Okay. No, I need my dental floss. Ah, there's some. Nicely cleaned up. Nothing, nothing there. Not too bad. And what's great with these carts, I mean, you just plug it in and switch it on. I don't know what it is about carts, but definitely is the, the best option available on any of the systems. OK, 
Okay, let's clean up this tooth. Oh, my word. Trying to avoid that gem. Uh, I don't think this is a game that would have actually kept my attention back in the day. Uh, it would have definitely have worn off. It gets quite monotonous now. I'm running around, scrubbing off teeth, trying to clean them. Uh, nearly got zapped there. Let me try to get at least one tooth clean. Is this tooth clean? Yes, and there it's flashing. So I've cleaned up one tooth, and uh, I think that's about enough of this game. And we can then move on. Ng is up next, and this is I've had one little go at it, and it's, it's not my type of game. These little puzzle games. But it's still an interesting concept. I mean, it's also a very old game. And let me just get it started. What do I need to push? Okay, there we are. So I'm in it. Object of the game is to, from what I can work out, is uh, I can move. It's almost like that Pipes game. I think I've played on the PC before. So I've got to link up the different faces and thereby clear the level. So you can see I can change the flow of that pipe. It goes green. And I'm trying to link up all those yellow faces as such. And it's going to be more or less trial and error for me. <laughs> this is not my type of game. It's not something that I would have enjoyed. But still, I must say, graphics are pretty good. It's nice and smooth. And definitely would have been one of the earlier puzzle games ever to have come out. And I'm running out of time. You can see the time is clicking down. 27 seconds left. I'm sort of just trial and error, yeah? Come on. Almost one more to get. You can see the top left corner. If I can link that. And what's that? 12 seconds left. Mm -mm, that didn't work. I'm going to run two, one, and I've run out of time. Okay. Let's try that one more time. left to hook up again. There! Did it! And I get the bonus points. Well, I think that's about enough of that game. It's not my type of game, uh, sitting there working out the puzzles. But anyway, it gives you a good idea what Zenji is about. And that's about. Let me move on to the next. Okay, next up we have Jack Attack. And let's start the game. And I'm definitely going to start on level one. I've had one little go at this just to get the idea of what it's like. Basically, I'm here to squash these little. And there you can see I can squash him like that. I can pull these little blocks away. And I've got a certain time that I need to do in, otherwise, I'm going to lose my bonuses. I can jump up and down. And you can see there, I can squash them. Watch out. If they fall on you, you lose a life or jump on you. So, ah, uh, uh, almost. Uh, uh, just made it out of there. Gotcha. Let's see if I can do it in the right time. Controls are not that great on this game. I must say, it's not that easy to control this little... It almost looks like a little space invader. I probably we borrowed that sprite off another game somewhere originally. Because it definitely does look like a little space invader. Uh, ah, there, I lost the life. Okay, so if they come down on top of me, I lose a life. Oof. Uh, let's try that again. You can see it's start the level again, but lucky you don't start with all those aliens all over again. Just two left to fall on. Come on, come on. Oh, one down. One more, one more. Let's see if I can time this right, because the movement is not... There we are, got him. So you can see it gives me the bonus. And off I go to the next stage. Platform bonus. I haven't gotten this far, so maybe I need to jump on that platform. There, it's lit up. Ah! Okay, trying to be clever there. And it didn't work out. OK, 
Okay. Let's try pull that aside and no, nope, I want you to go down there then I can squash you. I was a little bit late there. Oh, missed him again. No, as I said, the movement's not easy on this game. Damn, that didn't help. Uh -uh, still didn't help. I'm running out of time. <laughs> okay, at least I did that. Uh, okay, so I can touch him. He, uh, he has to jump on my head, otherwise he can't kill me. Ah, finally got one. And I've got a count. Got two. Got three. Wow, there should be some sort of bonus there. Nearly. It's actually easier just to jump on them to try to be fancy and pull blocks aside. Sprites are nice and big. Movement's smooth, but as I said, the controls are not that. Ah, I finally got one. Come on, let me squash another. Yeah, oh, almost. Yes, gotcha. And gotcha. Gotcha. There we are. Now it's starting to work out. One left to get. This is by far the furthest I've ever gotten. It's only my third attempt. <laughs> and yes. Okay, level three. Not bad. Okay, there's a little bit of water involved there and it told me there that they can float on the water but I cannot. So I will sink if I fall on that water. Uh, get out of the way. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Let's see now if I can squash one. That didn't work. Okay. But at least you can fill in the... Push the blocks into the water, it looks like. And... Come on. It's just not running there with that movement. It's, it's, I really could have improved that. It would have made it such a better game. Come on. Three left. Another one. Yes, one left. Now he will avoid me. Yes, got you. Okay, on to the next level. Let's see. That's interesting. So I need to. That wasn't very good. <laughs> if I push the platform, obviously it's going to fall on my head and kill me. Okay, so that's the end of that game. Well, let's move on to the next game, guys. That wasn't so bad. It was actually the the better of the three that I've... Finally, we have Kickman. It's a very strange little game. Actually, very difficult to play. And the object is I'm this guy on this bicycle. And uh, I can move left or right. I'm actually using the keys. It's a lot easier than the joystick. And left and right. And you pick up these balls that come down onto you. If you drop one, you start all over again. So you catch them on your head. Much like a lot of my fellow South Africans who carry everything on their heads. Uh, now in this stage too, now I can... I'm supposed to jump when one of them goes past. You can only attach them right at the top. And uh, see, when I jump, you can kick the ball back in the air and... That didn't work. It's actually a very frustrating game, this. Very difficult. Unless I'm just... You know, like, ah, not getting anywhere. This is not something that I would have enjoyed playing a lot of. No. And that's game over for Kickman. Very frustrating little game. Well guys, that's the end of that uh, quick demonstration of those four little games that I picked up from Australia. I hope you enjoyed that. Otherwise, cheers from me.